I'd like to welcome everybody here to PHC North High School. We have another signing here at Raider Nation. We've got one of our own that's been around for a while. Heaven, Heaven Lozano is uh, about to sign with uh, Houston, Houston, Houston Tillotson University to play softball. Here's uh, the head softball coach. Hello, everybody. I want to thank you all for coming today for the special day for Heaven. I wanted to start off by saying, Heaven, I'm very proud of you. I wanted to thank you and give you this, get, getting this great opportunity to come here today and to sign and to go to play at the next level because a lot of students here in the Rio Grande Valley don't get that opportunity. So this is a beautiful opportunity for you. Getting to know you this last year, although I wasn't here to play, I'll have you here playing for me for four years, it was great to be a part of your, be a part of your senior year. Um, you are an amazing player with a big heart, and I'm so proud of you and everything that you have accomplished in your four years here. And I just want to give you all blessings to your next four years that yeah, you're playing at Houston Tillotson. So I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great next four years. Here at Raider Nation, we like to uh, have all the students uh, compete in as many uh, sports as possible. Uh, Heaven was also a state qualifier in, in track, and she uh, qualified in the, in the discus. Uh, here's our, her head track coach. I know that she is going to play softball, which is fantastic, but she had the opportunity of getting recruited to throw the discus for multiple universities as well. But let's just kind of highlight a little bit about Heaven, her four years here. Uh, in, the, at, in the discus, her freshman year, she threw 103. Her sophomore year, she increased that to 110-10. Junior year, 121-10. Her senior year, she kind of blossomed. And she threw 134 feet and 6 inches. And that is a 31-foot uh, PR, I guess, a jump from her freshman year to her, from her senior year. That is an amazing jump and a very, very huge jump from from freshman year to senior year, and that just kind of attests to her, her work ethic every single day. So her four years here, she competed and she placed at not only at Tri-City, not only at District, but the area track meet as well, and sometimes even this past year at the regional track meet. She did a fantastic job for PSJ North Girls Track and Field. And like you said before, Heaven is the first woman, I say woman because you graduated, first woman to uh, compete at the state level, at the state track meet in over 10 years for PSJ North. And that just goes to show that her work ethic on the field for softball and on the track for track was outstanding. And it was, it was beautiful to watch her throw and to watch her compete. She was very mature. She led the throwers. She just said, Coach, don't worry about me. We're going to go practice. Like, OK, you do your thing, girl. So she's very mature. That's why I say a woman. But she is a very, very talented young lady, not only on the softball field, but all, as well as on the track. And we know that you're going to do a fantastic job the next four years at your school. First of all, thank you all for being here and showing your support. Um, heaven, uh, it's been a journey since uh, T-ball. And, um, now we're at the collegiate level, and we know you're going to do awesome, okay? So congratulations. Thank you, guys. Ready, Evan? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I have it on my phone, so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to thank everyone for coming, and I want to thank my family, coaches, and friends that have supported me through everything. Um, everyone here has a special place in my heart, but I want to give a special thanks to Coach Vecchio and his wife Erica, uh, and Coach Red and his wife Cindy, and of course Amanda, for pushing me to my limits and for helping me with my pitching and batting. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I also, oh my god, I laughed. I also want to thank all the coaching staff for being supportive while doing two sports at the same time. Kaufman, Kaufman, Gongara, Little Tin, Coach Barbs, uh, Ms. Diaz, uh, I don't know who it was, <laughs> Mr. Perez, the trainers, Coach Jones, um, well, everyone, Coach Lugo, everyone. <laughs> I'm trying to name everyone. <laughs> and I also want to thank my teammates for everything because I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it really meant a lot when Ms. Diaz and Mr. Perez came to support us at our playoff games. I also want to thank my throwing coaches, Celio, Tony, and DJ for putting up with me and not giving up on me when I was tired with one sport and also for making me stronger, not only physically, but also mentally. 
I want to thank my second family, the Romos, for everything. You guys mean a lot to me, and I'm glad I'm part of your family. You guys always make me feel like home. You guys would always try to support me at all my games, and I know it was hard because Donovan would play at the same time, but I'm glad you came to see me succeed in what I love. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me, and I'll truly miss you guys when I'm gone. I also want to thank Coach Lugo and Coach Dominguez for everything. You guys taught, oh, everything you guys taught me. You taught me to be a leader, not only to the team, but to younger athletes as well. And I'm glad to be, I'm glad I'm able to have girls looking up to me. I really give it my all this year, not only in softball, but track as well. And I know I had a hard choice to make during playoffs, but I'm glad you guys respected my choice. You guys always believed in me when I didn't, and I thank you for that, honestly. And I'm glad I'm playing the sport I love in the next level. Lastly, I want to thank my grandparents and parents for always comforting me and giving me guidance along the way. You guys would always make trips for me just so I can throw and play the game I love. It really meant a lot, and I know it was really hard to do, so I thank you guys for all the hard work you did for me and my siblings. And Angel, thank you for all the ups and downs we had. I couldn't have done it without you. Even though we, could, we would always fight or get mad that we had to practice together, we still managed to get it through it all. <laughs> um, and look at us now. We've all grown up to become good athletes, and I know when you get older, you're going to be a hell of an athlete. And I'm always going to be here for you, and I'm honestly sad. Oh. And, I'm <laughs> and I'm honestly sad. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't want to cry. Um, I forgot where I was at. And I'm honestly sad that I'm not going to be able to play with you anymore. But I'm glad to call you my sister slash teammate, and I can't wait when you're going to sign off as well. Even though, I wasn't even though I won't be able to see some games, I'll still try my best to go out and support you. And save your, let me see. <laughs> and save your, <laughs> thank you for always supporting me and Angel. You have a big heart like no one else. And I know you'll do big things your senior year. You just got to keep working and you will succeed. Trust me. But once again, thank you everyone for being here. It really means a lot. And go Rams. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for you to sign.